friends, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, I'm Jenna. I make crochet plushies and I'm really excited for today's video because today we will be making the largest plushie I've ever made. And I know I recently just made the largest plushie ever, but now I got a new order from a customer where they're requesting I make a super large turtle, like double the size of my sunflower turtle, which was my biggest plushie to date. So I'm really excited for today's video. I'm gonna be showing the process of me making this turtle and we'll see how it comes out. Peep Shay creeping in the background right here. She looks so tiny on camera. She's really not that small in real life. So in terms of materials, I had to place an order at Michael's because I didn't have the yarn that the customer wanted. So I bought four skeins of this Sweet Snuggles white color. And then I bought one skein of this Sweet Snuggles dark green color. So the customer wants the shell to be this dark green color and then the body this white color. So for my sunflower turtle, I used two skeins of the body color and one skein for the shell. But now since this customer wants the turtle to be double the size of that sunflower turtle, I bought double. So four skeins of the white and then one skein I think should still be okay. I don't think I would need to double it. I hope not because then I'll have to order again and that is annoying. There's not a Michaels near me, so I always have to place an online order. But I will say, Michaels is like super quick with shipping. Like I'll place this order, for example, I'll place it on Monday. I think I'll literally get it delivered on Wednesday. Also, I don't know if you can hear my dryer singing in the background, but, but anyway, let's get into it. In terms of hook size, I believe I used a nine millimeter for the sunflower turtle. So I'll also be using nine millimeter for this turtle. And in terms of the pattern, so this is voiceover Jenna. And originally in this clip, I was describing kind of how I was gonna go about making this turtle. But in the end, I actually just freehanded a lot of this turtle and kind of created my own pattern. And throughout this video, you'll kind of see my trial and error process. But ultimately, what I put on the screen will be the finalized pattern that I was able to work out. So yeah, enjoy this clip of Shay coming onto the screen and messing with my coffee. all about experimenting, trial and error. I have a feeling there will be a lot of error with this, but let's just see how it goes. I'm just excited to see the final product and hug this turtle because that's what I love doing. Stop, stop. That's what I love doing with the sunflower turtle, just like hugging it. But okay, let's get crocheting. Stop, oh my gosh. The most satisfying part of opening new yarn. <laughs> Ripping this off. Okay, so here's the head. It is the normal dimensions right now. Like I followed the pattern. So I think all around there is 36 stitches. I am now going to go until eight increases. So it's gonna be big. Like this is the regular sized head. So imagine this, but doubled. I'm almost thinking it might be too big if we, if I like increase it by double the amount. Maybe I'll do six and kind of see how the size will look and then go from there. Okay, here is six. And it is taking on kind of a hexagon look just because of the increases, but it should round out once I go around a few times. I think this head is pretty big. I'm kind of scared if I go all the way to eight, if this is six, but I did tell the customer I would try and double the sunflower turtle size and I wouldn't truly be doubling it if I went with six. So I guess I'll go to the eight and see how big it is and then we'll see from there. Also, Shay is like sitting on my desk and she just keeps eyeballing the camera cause I'm using my iPhone and the front camera. So she can see like the time lapse as it's going on and I think she's gonna like attack it because she just keeps eyeing it like prey. So if you see Shay come at the camera, you know why. Okay, this is eight. It is like really like boxy, but I think it is perfect, honestly. I think this is a really good size. 
this is literally a hat. <laughs> like for comparison, like this is freaking huge. This turtle head is gonna be as big, if not bigger. I think bigger actually now looking at it, bigger than my head. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I am now second guessing my um, skein calculations. I really hope I have enough. I only got four, four skeins of white and one skein of the shell. I might have messed that up, but okay. I think now I just have to finish out the head. So I just will crochet however many single crochets are in this round. And I'll do that like probably, I should technically do it 10 times, like for 10 rounds, but I feel like you run into the proportion problem. Like I think that would be way too rectangular and I want it more circular. So I might do it for like six or seven rounds and then reassess, but okay, let's get into it. Okay, so this is where we are at with the head. <laughs> it's literally like a golf ball hat <laughs> or like another bucket hat. Like I cannot, um, oh no, the fluff. Yeah, one of the downfalls of Sweet Snuggles yarn and like the Chanel yarns is that they shed like so easily. Like after I make something, my floor is completely covered with fuzzies. But anyway, so this is like five rows of 60 because that's how many we have um, in total since I did eight increases versus the typical four increases and 36 stitches. So I'm just torn because like you can see like the head is already pretty full and I'm thinking if I do like this is five rounds if I do the true double amount like I was saying earlier that would be 10 rounds and I think it would just make it too rectangular. And I have to keep in mind that I need to decrease down to um, 36 stitches. So I'm thinking, should I just start decreasing now? I'm just a little nervous because I want the head to look, you know, like that nice round shape. And I feel like it might not, it might look a little ovally, like a flattened oval, if that makes sense. So maybe I'll do, <sighs> maybe I'll do like, two more rounds of 60 and then I'll start decreasing. It's just a lot of trial and error. I hate redoing steps, but I really want to make this turtle perfect for my customers. So let's go with two more rounds of 60 and then we'll decrease and we'll see how the head is. Also, I feel like stuffing, adding stuffing to the head will like help shape it and help me visualize kind of what it will look like. So there's also that. In terms of like how much yarn I have left in this skein, it is not looking too good. I, again, I budgeted four skeins total for this entire turtle and I'm gonna use one skein just for the head itself, I feel. So I might have to place another Michael's order to be seen. Okay, two rounds later, I am feeling more confident. You can see how much more fuller the head looks in terms of the shape. And that is the difference that only two rounds made. So I think we're good to stop here in terms of doing the rounds of 60 um, single crochets and I am ready to decrease. Now, typically in the normal head, in the normal size head, we do decreases down to two, but with this one, I guess I'll go decrease down to four. And sorry, I, I feel like what I'm saying doesn't make sense because I'm just like internalizing the pattern in my head. Hi, it's voiceover Jenna again. I'm so sorry if this tutorial so far is confusing. I originally didn't film this to be a tutorial, so I'm sorry. Also, I was working on a similar turtle, kind of in like this cream color as well. It matches pretty well. This is Bernat though, Velvet, and I just found it funny, the differences in size, like I cannot. But okay, let's decrease and get this head done. We are making progress with the head. As you can see, it is now almost fitting over my entire head. The head is done. I think it's the perfect shape. Um, I honestly am really happy with the proportions. I didn't decrease down to um, the four that I originally thought out. I only decreased down to six because in the original head, it goes four decrease, three decrease, two decrease, and that's it. So with this, I did eight decrease, seven decrease, six decrease, if that makes sense. 
logically it makes sense to me it might not make sense to you guys so i'm sorry but um yeah just documenting how i make this big turtle because i feel like i'm gonna make more of these in the future but like this head is literally massive like i don't even think i can put it over oh my gosh i don't even want to know what that looks like on camera um but yeah this is massive the shell is gonna be a total of like 12 increases around so I think the shell's gonna be like literally like this, like this big. And I totally underestimated how much it would cost to ship this. So will I even profit off of this turtle? Probably not, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, but it's okay. I mean, I love making new things and it's not all about the money, honestly, to me. It's just the creative outlet. So now that we're done the turtle, let's go to the fins. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys, but this is how much yarn I have left of that one skein that I started out with. So this head took up a lot that I was not anticipating. Hopefully the thins don't take up as much yarn just because you don't have to stuff them. They're not like 3D, they're flat. So hopefully that helps. Actually, before we do the fins, I really wanna check if the safety eyes that I bought are big enough. I thought 30 millimeter, which is this size, I thought that would be big enough, but now that I'm looking at the head, I totally underestimated how big this was actually gonna be. So let me place it real quick. I think that's fine. Do you think this is fine? Okay, I don't know about anybody else, but I cannot work with thick yarn, like sweet snuggles for that long because it literally causes my arm, my wrist, my hand to cramp. And maybe it's because my hands are pretty small, but like gripping the yarn and like actually crocheting, it hurts me. Like it, I can't sustain it for that long like I can with my like thinner velvet yarn. But I just got done making the one front thin. Let's crochet it together and see how big it turned out. Okay, here's the finished fin. It doesn't look that big on camera, but then when I compare it like to the head and show them together, you can see how big this turtle's gonna turn out. Like, this head is huge, this fin is huge. Three more fins to go, and I still have to make the tail and shell, but honestly, I think I'm gonna take a break because my hand is sore. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show you guys a comparison. This is literally my normal turtle head size. This is with a five millimeter hook velvet yarn i think it's like size six and then this is the head i just worked on the super jumbo head nine millimeter hook sweet snuggles really jumbo size yarn and like literally look at the difference it's hard when i just show this but with the regular head next to it you can really see how freaking big it is and now i'm scared i made it too big Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm standing now. I was sitting and fun fact, I actually have a standing desk. I don't use it as much as I should. I'm not using it now. I'm just standing, but I wanted to give an update. So I took a break from the jumbo turtle to make the regular sized cream turtle that I have to do. And y'all, I don't know why, but I'm getting scared. <laughs> like seeing the normal proportions and then seeing the jumbo turtle, I'm like, did I just waste all my time and have to redo everything because I made it too big? But then I'm like, Jenna, relax. Like, why are you scared of it being too big? The customer wants it big. And shipping, you can ship anything. Like, I can definitely create a custom cardboard box if needed. Like, I'll go to Home Depot and get one of those big moving boxes. Like, it's fine, it's fine. Like, honestly, I should be excited by how big this turtle's gonna be because I've never made anything this big. So yeah, just, I thought I remember the good vibes. So I already showed you guys the head comparison, but now I wanna show you guys the front fin comparison. So this is a normal front fin. This is the normal size I make it. So, you know, looking at this right now, you're like, okay, that's a pretty good size. Let me show you the big fin from the Jumbo Turtle. Y'all, <laughs> I cannot, bro. This is like, this is crazy. Like, bro, <laughs> don't be stressed. It's fine. We're not gonna run out of yarn. The good thing is like, this didn't take up that much yarn. 
the head took up a lot because you know clearly that was a lot of rows but this one didn't take as much so i'm hoping to get another big fin out of the skein that i'm using and then that leaves two more skeins left for the body and the back fins and the tail so really i think we'll be in good shape i should win yarn chicken but we shall see okay i finished the regular size cream turtle with the sage shell sage sage shell i don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me sage shell and yeah this is how it came out i love her super gorge colors um i have to go back and crochet the other front fin now of the jumbo size turtle and then the other two fins i really want to get the fins all done today fin and tails i guess i feel like i want to get the fins and the tail done today and then the shell we could save for tomorrow but we'll see how my arms are feeling so i'm literally halfway through the second fin and my arm like what is this muscle like right here not like my wrist but like this part of my arm the muscle is feeling strained like it is a struggle using this thick yarn like i don't know I guess it's cause like I grip the piece like when I crochet, you know, like this, and I really feel it in this muscle here. So I'm gonna try and pump this out, but this arm, man, she she's weak. Let's go, we made it. Okay, why does this look like a boob? <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna fold it in half now, and then we should be good to single crochet this fin flat and close it up and then we should have two of our fins done. Okay, second fin done. And then I have this much left, so pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'll get a full short fin out of this. At least there's more left than the head and I still have I think a pretty good amount. I'm always so bad at judging how much yarn I actually have left. Let's see how much of the back fin I can do with this. I'd be curious. Here we go. Yes, the two fins are done. I keep looking at this in the camera and it is reminding me of dumplings for some reason. Or like an empanada or like quesadilla or a pie chart. <laughs> okay, I'm losing it. Okay, I almost made it to the end of the first back fin. I literally am like six stitches away from finishing this round and then I had one more round. So I made it pretty far. I'm now on skein number three. That should take me to finishing the second fin and the tail and start the body. So I think four skeins is perfect if you're trying to make a turtle this big. I was worrying and stressing for no reason in terms of the white. Let's see if one skein of the green will be enough for this like massive shell crossing the fingers. It never gets old. I love ripping those labels off. <laughs> doing some wrist exercises. I feel like I'm in high school again, warming up for a sport. <laughs> I was a tennis player in case anyone was wondering. Okay, I actually got done both of the back fins. My arms are still attached somehow. I'm gonna take a break. I think I'm done for the day. But real quick, I wanted to show you guys. Fin number one, fin number two. Oh wait, this is the bigger fin. Fin number two. So now we have two smaller back fins and then the two larger front fins. And I just wanna show you guys, there isn't that much difference. Oh, I guess on screen you can tell the size difference, but this one is seven increases and this one's eight. So not too much of a crazy difference when you put it side by side like this, but when you position it like this, I can see on screen. The difference in size so i'm really excited now to make the shell tomorrow and we will complete the turtle okay i just wanted to show you guys it laid out because it's kind of hard to conceptualize the way i was showing it earlier to you guys so like literally looking at it to scale like this is my giant 
um, 20 pound stuffing box. And as you can see, this turtle is freaking huge. I also made the tail really quick. I forgot to film it, but yeah, I just freehanded that. I kind of just kept going until I thought it was proportional with like the head and the fins. But yeah, this is the progress we made today. This turtle is going to be freaking massive. I have no idea how I'm going to ship it. But oh yeah, this is literally my treadmill, like my under the desk treadmill that I have not used in a while. And now it just holds my stuffing box. But yeah, besides the point, I'm really excited to see the shell and to see this turtle really come together. I'm really kind of tempted to just make the shell now, but my arms are killing me. So I think I'm gonna switch over to my thin velvets to give my arms a break. And then yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and we'll finish it. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys mini turtle fin, jumbo turtle fin, both of them together. Say hi, Shay. Happy Sunday, everybody. Okay, it is the next day. I have the goal of finishing the jumbo turtle today. I was thinking it over last night and I feel really good about it. Like, I don't know why I was so scared yesterday about the process. It's good. I actually think I wanna do a freebie for you guys and I'm gonna write down the pattern once I, you know, finish the turtle. I'll make it a free pattern for everybody. So if you wanna make your own jumbo turtle, you'll have it as a resource. I already did all the trial and error for you guys. But anyway, I also finished my bucket hat that I talked about in a few videos back. I honestly don't know how I feel about this bucket hat. Let me, let me spin for you. Like, I think it came out cute, but like the shape is kind of like a little too, um, I don't know, like circular. Like, I don't know. I just don't think it looks very flattering on me, but for my first granny square project, I am pretty happy with it. I think I mentioned before that I want to learn how to join the granny squares a little smoother so it doesn't look as like bulky. But yeah, I don't know. I think I wanna remake this bucket hat and try and get some better form to it. Make it more like bucket hatty, if that makes sense. Like I feel like you can't even see my eyes like, like, I don't know, but I'll link the pattern down below if you guys do like it and you wanna make your own. But okay, let's go make that shell. Literally just got done like round three and my arms already hurt. Okay guys, so we are now at the same size of the head. So this is like eight increases around. I think it's 60 stitches. So almost there. My plan is to go up to 12 increases. So 96 stitches. Ah oh boy, my arm's tired, but let's keep going. It kind of, there we go. You guys can see how it's like that dark green emerald color. I think it's gonna turn out really pretty with the white. Um, but yeah, let's see how big 96 stitches look. Also, in terms of how much yarn I have left, I'm feeling good about it because once we hit the 96, I just really need to go around it once more to form, you know, the bulge of the shell and then we should be in the clear. So crossing the fingers that this is enough yarn to get us through that point. Two more rounds. This is 10 increases. It's like one of those. Oh, it could be like a bucket hat, but yeah, let's keep going. One more round. Oh, oh my gosh. This is literally such a huge shell. I'm going to need like 20 pounds of stuffing for this in the head. It's so large. I'm excited. She's done. Well, almost done. I still have to make the ridge, but look, I'm gonna stand up. Like this could literally be like a vest. Well, not really, but look how big it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I have this much yarn left. So I think one skein of Sweet Snuckles was enough to make this jumbo turtle shell. So I'm gonna make the ridge and then we can start putting the turtle together. 
Okay, the ridging is done. I don't know if you can tell that well, but yeah, there we go. Okay, the ridge of the shell is done. So now I just cut off the green yarn and I'm gonna attach the body color. But a little pro tip from what I've learned from just trial and error, it's a good idea when working with like these thick yarns, especially like the thick Chanel, um, leave a pretty long tail when you are attaching a new color because I found that I would have to like triple knot these ends together to really secure the, the new yarn because if not, this yarn has the tendency to like unravel, like the knot tends to unravel because there's not much grip with these thick yarns. So just to play it safe now, I use a really long tail and I'll probably like triple knot this. Okay, so I just finished, well, at least I tried to finish making the little fin gaps, but I just realized like something is off in either my stitch count or just the way I went about sizing up because it's uneven. Like I have one gap here for the front fin and another gap in the back for the back fin, another gap for the tail and then another gap for the other back fin. And then here it's supposed to be the last gap for like the second front fin, but I already reached my stitch marker so it's not symmetrical. So I have to undo this row and then recount because technically it should be symmetrical. So I'm gonna go troubleshoot this. Okay, I recounted the stitches and I'm dumb. I miscalculated how many total stitches I would have after the 12 increases. I actually only have 84 stitches around. I thought I had 96, so that's why I ran out of room. So I readjusted the stitch count for the different gaps for the fins and I'm gonna redo it and hopefully it works out. Okay, we're good. I just finished updating that round and everything works out fine now. I'm gonna start decreasing and attaching the fins and it's all gonna come together soon. Okay, it is now sewing time. I'm so excited to attach the fins. Let's start with the top front fins. Okay. First front fins are good. Oh my gosh, the turtle is really coming together. Wow, she is gorgeous. Okay, let's do the back and the tail. Guys, I am like speechless at how big this turtle is. Okay, I just finished sewing all of the fins and the tail. All that's left is finishing the body and sewing the head on. Look at this turtle, like, I'm standing up right now and I don't know if you can tell the full, like, I don't know if you can tell how big this turtle is, but like, this is me, this is my body, and this is the turtle. Like, this is crazy. I don't have the exact measurements yet, but hello. Like, this turtle is so big. I'm excited to finish it now. Let's finish it. Okay, it is stuffing time. This is all that I have left. I have like three more rounds. I'm so excited, let's stuff it. It's seriously so hard to film this because it is completely taking up like my entire desk. I can't even get the whole turtle into the frame, but okay, let's start stuffing this. This itself is really heavy. I feel like this is already like two or three pounds. So with the stuffing and then the head, I feel like this whole turtle is gonna be like six, seven, eight pounds. Like I, <laughs> it's gonna be expensive to ship, but whatever. The body is done. <laughs> Look. Ah, I'm almost gonna drop it. Look how big this turtle is. <laughs> like this is insane. I love how it turned out. The proportions are actually really, really good. And I was worried about the tail low key, but like the tail's perfect. Everything is perfect. It is literally so heavy and I'm obsessed with it. Like I don't, I feel like it's not being captured on the camera about how massive this turtle is. Let me go get the regular sized turtle and show you guys. Okay, here we go. Regular sized turtle, massive turtle. <laughs> okay, let's attach the head and we're done. 
I kind of got excited and just did the head real quick. Like I put the eyes, the blush and stuffed it. So here you go. Here's the head. Um, it's massive compared to my head, <laughs> but let's sew it on. The turtle's done. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so obsessed with how the turtle came out. I can't believe it. Again, I'm jealous of my customer. I don't want to give this turtle away, but let's see the grand reveal. Hello. This is the finished turtle. I like literally cannot, but oh my gosh, look how big this turtle is. Like, ah, it probably is like six pounds. And I always say my plushies are like a small child, but this one is a teenager. Like, look at this. I'm so proud of myself. This took six, no, five skeins total of Sweet Snuggles, four for the body part, one for the shell, 30 millimeter eyes, and yeah, I'm so happy that you guys came along on this journey with me to making my biggest plushie yet. It was a lot of trial and error, but I think the most important thing out of making this turtle was to trust yourself, trust your gut, and just go with it. Crochet is super forgiving. If something doesn't go right, you can just undo it. But I cannot thank you guys enough for watching all the way to the end to see this great reveal. And just for fun, here we go. <laughs> the size difference. So I feel like that shows pretty good how big this turtle actually is. Okay, excuse the mess of our coffee table, but like, I just wanted to film the turtle on our coffee table, which is pretty long. And yeah, this turtle is freaking massive. But thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>